All right, guys, today we're going to be working on the heads. Got the heads back from TKM. They've done these awesome top fuel hoops. Local machine shop here is going to do the valve job, and they're also going to install a couple valve guides. Had a few of those in the exhaust that broke, and it's usually the exhaust valve guides that give you the problems. They hang out into the cylinder, and if the EGTs get kind of high for an extended period of time, sometimes they'll flake off, and that's bad because when they flake off, then it goes through the turbo, often killing the turbo. So let's go to B&D Performance. We dropped these things off, and they got them back to us. Check them out. And if you guys would like to support the channel, head on over to turbojohnracing.com. Grab yourself some hats and t-shirts. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, what's up? We're over here at B&D Automotive in Sims, North Carolina. Uh, Danny and Bobby, uh, they got my heads all fixed up, lapped into valves, got everything good, did a valve job on it. We are good to go. So now we can put the heads together. You still ain't got your parts. You've been waiting on parts for the Camaro for a while. Trying to get a cam for it. God, what, what size is it? Is it 60 millimeter? No, it's 55. 55, we got I you. Maybe I don't have any cores for them, so. That's insane, nice. isn't it? It's insane how, how how hard it is to get parts now. So I dropped these things off on Monday and now I'm getting them back like a day later. It's, it's trying to get you back to the track. Right, he's like, he's like, we did, I pulled a fast and furious when I dropped them off. He's like, when you need these back? I was like, Hector, I was like, I was like, yesterday, today, mm -hmm. now, immediately. However that went, I don't even remember how it went. And he's looking at me going, you're an idiot. I ain't getting it that fast. But they got me turned around fast. Mr. Bobby, um, how you like them radios over there? They run a little bit better, I like them. He done not put radios on the, on the Camaro over there. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were at the uh, at Piedmont when we had Randy's out there. And he said, man, he said, I ain't never going back to Slicks. <laughs> yep. And it picked up too, didn't it? Didn't yep. it go faster? Yeah, it's a little faster. You're going to tell us how fast it went? 46, 546. It went a 546 on motor. That's it was about 90 degrees there. It was hot. We were all sweating. 540, it was the fastest before on motor. Uh, on a good day, it was 546. Oh, so that oh, so it's probably picked up a solid tenth, maybe oh, a tenth yeah. and a half. I'll figure a tenth. Woo! Now we're getting into this boost weather. We're getting into some good air. Yeah. So uh, when are you going to take it out again? This weekend. All right. Where are you going? Kenston. Kenston. Oh yeah, they got the the radial thing. Is that the radial thing this weekend? Mm -hmm. yeah. Renegade. You going to spray it? Give me a little sniff. I'll be ready to go then. <laughs> <laughs> Did you put nitrous on it? <laughs> no. Not yet. I got, I got water injection on it. Oh boy, it's gonna be it's gonna be nitrous soon. Here, here we go. He's gonna, he gonna be hunting that four second time slip. I'll be wind up getting some on. Well, I appreciate y'all jumping on the heads and getting everything done. Uh, Kevin did the the top fuel hoops on it, um, and so we got that done. And then we had some issues with our valves, and we had to put how many guys did you have put in it? Two, two, two guides in it. Done a valve job, lapped everything in for me. So we'll put these things back together. Now these heads are, I mean, they're beat up. You can see I've had several blow ups on this thing. Your hoops are worth more than your heads. <laughs> you, you ain't lying. That's exactly right. That we got uh, top fuel hoops in a set of heads that are like boat anchors almost. And they ain't really even sized for my motor. I mean, now they work real good on my little motor, but now I've got 409 cubic inches. Uh, yeah, it don't, that little 210 don't really flow as much. Although Nick Dutta, uh, I don't know if y'all know Nick or not, he's got a 23 degree, uh, it's like a Pro Mod Corvette chassis car. He just went a 399 at 185. Woo! He's got something on it there. He does. Oh, yeah. I need to talk to him. You <laughs> <laughs> need to figure out what he's doing. Yeah, he's got something on it. Well, I appreciate you guys. Go check them out, B&D Automotive. Uh, they're down here in Sims, North Carolina. What's the telephone number here? 252-235-2401. Uh, All right, guys, appreciate y'all helping me out, getting everything done. See y'all soon. Yes, all right, guys. So we just got over here to Brian's shop, BK Performance. Just got all the heads from Danny. Um, Kevin done, like I said, the top fuel hoops on it, surfaced them. Uh, Danny done the valve job, put some guides in it. Uh, those guides were, were pretty jacked up, and uh, it did not end up having to put seats in it. I thought they were going to need to be replaced, but he was able to cut them down and get them, get them so they worked out um, and surfaced like they should. So now we're going to assemble the heads. Now assembling the heads is fairly straightforward. It's pretty easy to do. Um, you got the intake valves, you got the exhaust valves. So when Danny, when he did the valve job, he numbered all the valves. So that way you can, you know, which valve goes in which hole, uh, cause it does kind of make a difference. Um, whether, when they lap them in and surface them, they get them sealed. So you don't want to swap them if at all possible. This is a micrometer. 
now this is a cheap eBay one, which is, is fine, but uh, you want to mic it with a mic to make sure it's pretty close. I have seen these come before that they were off, and all it is is just marks on it. And as you spin it out, then that's how you adjust the the height. And I'll show you how to do it real fast. Like that right there would be two inches right there, give or take a tenth or so. See how it doesn't quite line up right there? On that 10, that lines up perfect with the line. So we're going to mic that out, make sure that's good. But um, these valve springs that I have, these are pack, uh, part number is 1226. Uh, this is from TKM where they took everything apart. So you got the retainers. A um, couple things you have to make sure of when you're when you're putting together an engine. You always have to make sure a couple things that you have the right retainer for the right springs. Uh, that has to go go in there and it fits nice and snug. And these are the, the, the plates that go on the on the bottom down here these are the locators so it has the fit there and that's what keeps everything nice and straight all right guys this is very easy to do you take your hardened spring locator put it in first the valve comes up in place of your valve spring you put the micrometer you put your retainer and your locks on just like you were going to assemble it like normal you screw it out and then you take the reading now we want our installed height on these springs to be 1.95 inches if it's not that, then you have to use the shims under the retainer to make that happen. Uh, with the camshaft we have, when uh, it's a little bit over 700 lift, and what will happen is you want this thing to be close to coal bind, uh, somewhere between 50 and 100,000, so it depends on who you talk to. Some people say the further away from coal bind you are, the spring kind of resonates and causes some valve issues. Uh, other people disagree with that, and they want it to be 100 or 150 thousandths. So let's put this thing together. All right guys, so we got these things set up. What I ended up doing is each one, the locks and the retainers are with each one here, which they're all the same, but I just did that just in case. Uh, so each one of these has got different um, shims under it, of course. And the goal with my micrometer was to get it at 1.93. And you see there, some of them are pretty, pretty close and some of them are a little shorter, some of them are a little, a little bit taller. But for the most, I mean, you can never get it perfect. I mean, the shims come in 15 thousandths, 30 thousandths, and 60 thousandths. So that's your options. So you have to, like this one right here, um, that one right there you ended up, it would have been 15 thousandths bigger than that, which would have been more. So these are the numbers according to my micrometer. And this is the micrometer right here. 1.934 is what that one is set up at. And that micrometer actually is about 10 thousandths short. So that one right there is actually 1.940. So you can add 10 thousandths to all these. My goal was, like I said, 1.95 uh, initially. And then I said, okay, well, we'll just shoot for uh, 1.94 once I started getting some of these. So we're close. Uh, they're all pretty close. You're never gonna get them perfect. Uh, I did find a problem, uh, my mistake. I thought I had valve seals, I do not. So I just sent Danny a message and he's got some. So I'm gonna go get those valve seals tomorrow and then we'll get these things put together uh, we got this tool over here the same one that we used on randy's uh, we'll bolt down my rocker bar and this will bolt down here and then it just compresses the spring it works really awesome 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 our buddy rodney um gave us that thing and it works phenomenal all right guys so we're getting a little bit closer we'll get those valve seals in and then we're next step we're going to bolt the heads on torque them down get that done and this thing will be ready to drop in the car comment like and subscribe if y'all want to support the channel head on over to turbojohnracing.com grab yourself some hats and t-shirts thanks guys